Welcome to Pint Size Ashes for the third test of the series at the Wacker. Joe Root won the toss and chose to bat. Here is Hazelwood bowling outside the off stump and driven by Stoneman for four. And England are underway in this test match. To Cook, who uh, gets a thick full delivery and he's been given out. The trapped in front, it was full and he's walking off Cook. He clearly didn't get anything on that and he's walking off disconsolately. It was a good ball from Stark. It was full, it was straight. It's concerning just how far Alistair Cook has missed that ball by. Well, indeed. It's better than that. Start bowl short. And all that kind oh, of flying yeah. through. It's four buys again. <laughs> That's a harsh shot. Uh, tip point. Yeah. He's a quick scoring ground, this one. Hazelwood is in once more. And that goes oh. through as an edge, and he has. Vince gets a thin edge to a full ball outside the off stump. He played it in slightly nondescript fashion. England have lost their second wicket with just five minutes to go before lunch. It wasn't forward, it wasn't, it wasn't back, he wasn't defending, he wasn't attacking. Hayeswood's around the wicket. That's cut away and is going to run away down to the boundary. That is 50 for Mark Stoneman. Then England's 100 comes up with that as well. Cummins again bowls. Down leg side as an appeal. Root walks off. Root's gone. Strangled down the leg side. He's gloved it through to Payne. What a moment for England. Stark runs in and bowls to Stoneman. It's short and that's lifting and that's gone into the glove. It's let out. Not out, says umpire Erasmus. And they're going upstairs. They feel he's gloved that. Now, what's the decision here? You need to reverse your decision out. He's going to give him out. Full screen. I'd still like to see the side on shot of that. I think he was out, yeah. So you think, sir? So you think strongly enough to overturn? Yeah. You, you're sure of this? Yeah. I'm, yeah, Just, I'm but sure. Despite multiple evidence and nobody else being sure, you're quite sure. I am. How did I do as a barrister? <laughs> I thought it was quite good. You were, you were out. I found the pressure from the net. Didn't you? Lion hit. Milan once again. He gets a single to long off and that's David Milan's 50 and it's been really well played for the first time the Middlesex and England batsman has shown his more attacking flair yeah. ball is dabbed down to help the third man boundary for four by Bairstow and with that Bairstow brings up his own half century 52 for Bairstow England 257 for four dark hurtling in to Milan and he's been dropped as he at third slip first ball with the new ball Hazelwood in balls to Milan pull shot he's got it 100 for David Milan counter punching innings as he raises his bat and his helmet to the dressing room and now to the crowd. David Milan, I'm proud of you. Thank you, the first hundred for an Englishman in the series. And that is the end of a thoroughly satisfying day for England, thanks to Johnny Bairstow and David Milan. They have given themselves a chance. Welcome to Pint Size Ashes and the second day at the Wacker. England resumed with David Milan and Johnny Bairstow looking to pile on the runs. Marsh in, Bairstow whips it with a strong bottom hand. 200 partnership starting to cash in on their good work in the first half hour. Absolutely done, test much cricky. You earn it, you earn it. Bairstow waits for Marsh. Pull shot, it's 100, he jumps in the air, bangs the helmet against his head, both hands aloft, looks up to the heavens, and it's been a superb innings at the Wacker. I want to take you out tonight, Simon. I want a date night with Simon, man. Am I allowed to refuse? Are you, are you busy? I might have something on, I, I need to consult my diary first. <laughs> it would be perfect, England get 550 declared, Australia four down by the end of play, we go to watch Star Wars, have some popcorn, good triumphs over evil, England win the test match. Lion in, bowls to Milan, who goes up and over, he could be caught, very well caught. Australia have their breakthrough, the applause for Milan, excellent effort. Cummins runs in, Mohan Ali edges to second slip, simple catch, a very meek offering from Mohan Ali. Flicked away, down through deep square leg, it's going to be caught as it is. Oh, that's the seventh wicket down for England, they've lost three in double quick time, Wokes has gone. Stark is into best, oh he's bowled him! Middle stump is out of the ground and Bairstow's innings is at an end. Cold grounds on the feet, the Australians, the England fans. That's a special innings. England's into Overton. And oh, this is up in the air and taking a short leg. That is the ninth wicket. And starts to ball. He's hit it in the air and he's going to be out. England's innings has come to an end in double quick time. 403 all out. England lose their last six wickets for 35 runs. Here is Overton bowling, and he's caught behind, he is. Warner's gone. For England are underway, and it's a big one as well. Overton again, long strides, bowls. Caught and bowl chance is dropped. Overton slams his right fist into the grass. 
over to Nini. Yeah, no, we don't believe. I think that's out. Mario Erasmus says no. I think England will definitely review this. Mario in Pemkin line. Out. He's out. Overton has his wicket. Deserved it. He's been the pick of the bowlers. He is works and he drives him through the covers. That's going away towards the boundary. Another Steve Smith test half century. He raises his bat to the crowd. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Folks around the wicket, new over. Hits Kawaja on the pad, a huge appeal given out. On the second day of this test match, it's been Australia's day, so they have fought back strongly. Steve Smith has confirming Australia's fight back. Welcome to Pint Size Ashes on the third day of the third test. Australia's captain, Steve Smith, is in the middle as they resume three wickets down. Smith on 99, Anderson goes into bowl to him, and Smith turns it away through mid-wicket, there it is. It's another Steve Smith 100, and he's edging Australia closer to the Ashes. Mowing in, caught! Good ball, good catch. England have a much-needed breakthrough. Poor defensive shot from Marsh into the breadbasket for Joe Root. In he goes, Anderson's driven for four through, extra cover. That's a beautiful shot from Smith. He got in perfect position. England now have to realise, if they lose this next 30 minutes, you could say that the whole series is gone. Into the right-handed Mitchell Marsh, who pushes into space on the offside, brings up his 50. What a splendid 50 by Mitchell Marsh from the 75 balls. How do you answer the question of why can't we have a kangaroo? <laughs> How do you answer that to a seven-year-old? Bowls on the pad, split to way down towards fine leg, and that is 172 not out for Smith and Andrew Sampson. And it's the highest score in the Nash's test at the Wecker. And England looking a weary lot out there, disconsolate lot. You know Smith's in tremendous form and his fidgets consist of just the right knee, left knee and box. In now, Bowles has been cut away for four. Marsh is cutting loose. And works Bowles to Smith. He's driven straight and the innings lead to Australia. One run ahead. Jim is le leaving, but he's got a replica of the urn and he's holding it in a triumphant fashion. Broad goes in and bowls to Marsh, who drives. It's gone away to the boundary for four. Mitch Marsh on his recall to the Australian Test team in front of his home supporters, his maiden Test 100. No in bowls. Smith drives, and there's a double 100 for Steve Smith. Well, it seemed almost as inevitable as the sun rising in the morning. And this is your worst nightmare as a bowler. The crowd wanting more blood here. Wokes bowling, turned away by Steve Smith, and there is the 300 partnership in the last over of the day, just to put the final cherry on the top of what's been a magnificent day for Australia. Welcome to Pint Size Ashes on the fourth day of the third test. Australia began looking to extend their first innings lead. Here is Anderson going into bowl to Marsh. And there's a bill for OEW. He's out. First over of the day. Anderson to Smith, who gets one and turns him round. Bigger pill for LBW. And oh, had a look. Joe oh, Root. Oh, here we go. Uh, he's out. He's out. He's out. He's out. He's out. He's gone. Then Australia are reeling at 560 for six. We've got him right where we want him. Payne facing up now to Anderson. Oh, next to the bit Another yeah. bigger pill for LBW. This looks really close. It's a run out. There's a run, run out. And who's going to be run out? Stark is run out. But it's chaos this morning. I think the That's Australians best. really celebrated Mitchell Marsh's hunch last night. And he bowls it. It's all hit high in the air for six. A meaty blow from Pat Cummings. Jeffrey Boycott. How many ties did you bring to Australia? That's a nice one. Half a dozen. Five different coloured shirts. Did you do your own ironing? No, I just send them to the laundry. I'm not sure I send them all my socks, though. They usually come back after two washes. They wouldn't fit a baby. I've <laughs> learned to do them myself. <laughs> That's an That's LBW out. appeal. Looks out to me and given. Anderson again, high up in the air, mowing alley, and he's taken it nicely. And that declared. is the declaration. 662 declared. England are batting to save the Test match. Hayeswood's in again. And it's gone! Goalkeeper Payne prodding outside the off stump. That's the first wicket. Stoneman goes. It was in the channel. He didn't have to play it in. He has. They're four for one. 
Hazelwood in. Cook chip back a catch, brilliantly taken. Hazelwood diving to his right, a brilliant return catch. Alistair Cook has to go. England in deep, deep trouble. Nathan, the line's on. Here he comes. He draws oh, Ridley. It's caught and slip. He's out. It's a poor dismissal. It's the first ball from the new bowler. Roots travails continue. Lion bowls down the pitch comes Vince and drives that gloriously through the offside. It's another magnificent shot from Vince. Turns that into the onside. And there is a half century for James Vince. Top in is that. Here goes the start. Bowls. Vince, oh, he's bowled him. He's bowled him. He's knocked over one of his stumps. That was an absolute beauty. Play that. Some activity down there on the grassy bank. Welcome to Pint Size Ashes. On the fourth day of the third test, Australia began looking to extend their first innings lead. Here is Anderson going into ball to Marsh, and there's a bill for OEW, he's out! First over of the day. Anderson to Smith, who gets one, and turns him round. Bigger pill for LBW. That's a bad look, Joe Rich. Oh, here we go. Uh, he's, he's, out. he's out! He's out! He's out! He's out! He's gone! Then Australia are reeling at 560 for six. We've got him right where we want him. Payne facing up now to Anderson. Oh, next delivery's a bit. Another yeah. bigger pill for LBW. This looks really close. It's a run out, there's a run, run out. out. And who's going to be run out? Stark has run out. But it's chaos this morning. I think the but Australians really celebrated with Jamash's hunch last night. Hardly bowls it. It's all hit high in the air for six. A meaty blow from Pat Cummings. Jeffrey Boycott, how many ties did you bring to Australia? That's a nice one. Half a dozen, five different coloured shirts. Did you do your own ironing? No, I just send them to the laundry. I'm not sure I send them all my socks, though. They usually come back after two washes. They wouldn't fit a baby. I've <laughs> learned to do them myself. <laughs> That's an That's LBW out. appeal. Looks out to me and given. Anderson again, high up in the air, mowing alley, and he's taken it nicely. And that is the declaration. 662 declared. England are batting to save the Test match. Hayeswood's in again. And it's gone! the offstop, that's the first wicket. Stoneman goes, it was in the chat, he didn't have to play it, and he has. They're four for one. Hazelwood in. Cook chip back a catch, brilliantly taken. Hazelwood diving to his right, a brilliant return catch. Alistair Cook has to go. England in deep, deep trouble. Nathan, the line's on. Here he comes. He draws oh, Ridley. He's got a slip. He's out. It's a poor dismissal. It's the first ball from the new bowler. Roots travails continue. Lion bowls down the pitch comes Vince and drives that gloriously through the offside. It's another magnificent shot from Vince. Turns that into the onside. And there is a half century for James Vince. Top in is that. Here goes the start. Bowls. Vince, oh, he's bowling. He's bowling. He's knocked over one of his stumps. That was an absolute beauty. Play that. Some activity down there on the grassy bank. Standing up and shouting, cheering at something. I think it's rain. That's exactly what it is, yes. Victor. They're cheering because it's raining, and, going, going. and the umpires are it's rain. singing to the ground staff to bring on the covers. Well, it's been abandoned for the day. Well, this is the most encouraging news that we've heard all day. I'm with the pint size ashes on the final day of the third test, with England needing to survive the day or surrender the ashes. We've had lots of rain overnight, more showers this morning, and rain has got under the covers, and the start of play has been delayed. They're cocked up. It's their job to make sure it's secure. Oh, it's just sheeting across the ground. That's quite good rain. Yeah, this it? is, yeah, for me, in perspective, this <laughs> good, is good rain. It'll <laughs> be good rain for England. The blowers are coming back. Never thought we'd get blowers back on no, the no, TMS, no. would you? But now we've got four of them. <laughs> I still think prospects. they don't generate quite as much hot no, air. No. <laughs> Hurrah! Well, some people were saying boo, but the umpires have decided the pitch has sufficiently dried out. Play is about to start. Here's Hazelwood. Bowls and Bairstow's bowled! First ball from Hazelwood, right through Bairstow's defences. And Bairstow is trudging off line. Again. <laughs> Oh. The appeal for LBW given this time. And Moen Ali walks off. Misjudgment still behind. Sun is out. The survival exits are being closed off here at the Wacker. In goes Cummins to bowl short down the leg side. And that's the 50 for David Milan. Around Milan is the chance of England getting out of this. Hazelwood bowls short. Milan goes oh, up. There's the appeal for a catch down the leg that side. He's given him out. He must have gloved that through for keeper on the ball, and Milan wanders off, and with him, 
you feel goes England's chance of holding on to the Ashes for one more game. Hazel. And over to back of the back court, Kawaja. Hazelwood has yet another, his fifth. It's been a terrific five for Josh Hazelwood. He's going to stay round the wicket, spearing into the left-hander bouncer, and he's caught off the ground. Australia one ball away. His works on strike, coming across a short ball, he goes for it, no. caught behind. Australia have won, and they have regained the Ashes, and England have lost by an innings. They've done it again, and what's facing England? Now well, the attempt to stave off a whitewash.